everybody, this is Shannon. I'm so excited that you've joined us for our tutorial video on how to do mystery math mistake in your classroom or even in your home. Mystery Math Mistake is going to be featured on our YouTube channel, which is at SIS, the number four teachers as the handle. You can go in there and click on any of our Mystery Math Mistake videos. We do a variety of them from addition, subtraction, sometimes there's things and tasks that might go wrong. It's your student's job to try to figure out what the myth Mystery Math Mistake is and what they're watching. I'll be doing the tutorial video kind of describing maybe how to do a subtraction strategy, maybe using one of our friends over here from our math mites, and you might see that I might make a mistake. It's your student's job to pick out the mistake that I'm doing. They could replay the video over and over again. You could do this in a math with someone station, a math with myself station, where kids are reflecting on error patterns they might see in math. You might even encourage for your students to be able to create their own mystery math mistakes, where they can kind of make them a little bit more hidden or a little bit more mystery to see if other students can see and kind of express maybe where they might critique the reasoning of others in the classroom. We have a great recording sheet that you can download for free. It's called the Mystery Math Mistake. In the gray box, the child's going to record how I solved the problem, maybe incorrectly, but going through watching the video as many times as they need to to record the mathematical thinking, the way that I was processing it, and there might be a Mystery Math Mistake in there. So in the bottom box, they're going to fill in how they think the problem should have been solved. Now, the most important part is they're able to visually show this by showing it within um, their white box Box to kind of show it, but they also need to be able to communicate their thinking as to why they know what they know. And so on the back of the paper, for younger students, it could be dictated, but for kids in grade second through fifth, they could write about the mystery math mistake. And so they need to explain where my number sense went wrong and maybe give me a suggestion to help me to be able to solve that problem correctly. We hope that you'll check out our series on our uh, YouTube channel at SIS, the number four teachers. You can also join us on any of our social media channels from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, as well as obviously our YouTube channel and LinkedIn, all with the same handle at SIS, the number four teachers. We hope that you'll get back to us to let us know how the mystery math mistake is going at your home or in your school. And if you come up with any, feel free to share it with us. We'd love to hear it. Thanks so much.